It's such an interesting question that, that people ask all the time. So, so what is the Torah? Now, invariably, if, if you want to know what something is, you explore, you discover, you acquaint yourself, and then you know, or so you think. You see, the thing with the Torah is that it employs many mediums, many platforms, a variety of syntaxes. And if you don't know what you're looking at, and if you don't understand what you're looking for, you might think that the Torah is a collection of fantastic fables or stirring stories. You might think it's some interesting observations on human anthropology or the development of civilization. You might come away with the notion that the Torah is a book of human history. You might come away with the idea that the Torah is filled with laws. Some of them seem to be extremely draconian and perhaps reflections of a different time. The truth is that none of this is correct. What is the Torah? The beautiful thing about Hebrew is that the words actually mean something. Torah isn't just a name. The word Torah shares a common root with the Hebrew word Hora'ah. Hora'ah means instructions. So suppose you buy a new device. What's the first thing you're going to do to be able to use it most effectively? You're going to read the instructions. It would be foolish for a person to buy a new computer and say, I'll figure this out myself. I'll just, you know, trial and error kind of thing. Eventually, I'll probably figure out all of the amazing bells and whistles that are encoded into this little piece of machinery. That's a foolish thing to do. By the time you figure out everything encoded into the computer, even assuming that you have a background and you're really good at this, we're on to the next computer or the next device. The wise thing to do is to say, hey, who created this program? And are there instructions for how to best use it? The Torah, my friends, is God's owner's manual. It's a book of instructions. We believe that life is not an accident. We believe that the universe didn't evolve by mistake. There's nothing random about our existence. When the Torah tells us, for example, about the story of Genesis, or the history of the creation of the world, that sounds to some positively simplistic. The most important message that's being conveyed to us is that everything in creation was created by God and for a purpose. And of course, you'll kind of ask, so what is the purpose? Well, I'm glad you asked. Keep on reading. The Torah uses a variety of, me of media. It uses stories to give us instructions for life. It takes little figments or pieces of history. There's lots of laws. There's instructions. There's, there's inspiration. You'll find oratory. You'll find beautiful quotes. You'll find things that are really difficult to understand. The truth is that the Torah is God's instruction book. And God employs a variety of methods to convey to us the meaning of life. If you liked that video, hit the subscribe button and notification bell below for hours of the best Jewish content online.